Hello, in the next few minutes I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Avalon Software Bookings Manager program and show you how it can be used to make some bookings in an activity center. Now on the left hand side of the screen we see a list of facilities we have for hire. These are known as resources. The way you think of a resource is anything against which you might take bookings. So here we have various camping fields, we have the same facility, can be booked by the hour or by the day. And if we look further back up the screen, we can see here we have the tall view house for residential bookings. So these are bookings where hires are going to be staying overnight at least, if not longer. Whereas the same facility here actually has two separate bookings during the day. So here we're booking by the hour and we can have uh, as many bookings during the day as we have time available. And because we're booking by the hour, it's blocked out the main residential house to say, well actually that's not available that day for a residential booking. Whereas if we look from May the 2nd onwards for the next three days, there are some overnight bookings. And this means that this resource cannot be used to make bookings for individual meetings, hourly bookings if you like. So down here we have one set of resources. If we click on the top of the diary screen, we see that there's a second diary page and in this case we have a series of activities. Now what we're seeing here is just two or three simple examples. If you're one or two of our customers this array of activities can be quite extensive. Rather than talk about all the facilities in detail, probably the easiest thing now is to show you a booking being entered through the system. What we're going to do is use our calendar button. So we're going to select our dates. It's a booking for June. So we've chosen our start and end date and we click the OK button. Now we've got a nice clean screen here, although maybe that's disappointing because that shows us there are no bookings. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and put this one in for the 6th of June and now we need to allocate whichever resource they're having. Well, in this case, they're having field A. The program knows that whilst they're staying for three nights, they'll actually be departing on the 10th of June. And this means that on the 10th of June, that resource can be rebooked for another party coming in. So you could have one group going out in the morning and another group arriving in the afternoon. So we've selected our resource and now we'll click on the Enter Customer button. This screen is now looking at our customer database. Now the customer database can be used to store all your contact details. That's people who hire with you, people who've inquired, people connected with your centre, anybody. And you can group them by different customer types for analysis if you'd like to do that. Now I'm just going to start typing in the surname. I'm going to use my name here. And as you see, as I start to type in two or three letters of the surname field, the program's starting to do a match. The more you type in, the more precisely it's looking into the database. And this group have been with us before. So we're going to select their name and address details and they're brought forward. All the usual name, address, email, telephone number details can be recorded there. Here in the center of the screen you can record other information which you might find useful. These fields we call customized fields and they're called that simply because you can decide how to use them, how to name them or indeed whether you use them at all. In our case we're interested in tracking down source of inquiry. In other words, how do people get to hear of us? In the case of this group they contacted us via our website. And then in the booking notes field you can enter any notes specific to this particular booking. So we've captured as much information as we have at the moment. We can always come back to this screen if there's more details we want to add later on. But for now we'll proceed with the booking and I'm going to click on the charges button. Now this takes us into a screen we refer to as the Ready Reckoner and the reason for that is it's designed to help you calculate the prices for this particular booking. It doesn't force you or oblige you to use these if they're special rates or perhaps if your rates are somewhat more complex than we're seeing here. We've kept this just as a simple example. I'm going to say this is an in-county booking. You can apply whatever rates you like. So I'm going to add that to my list and click OK to accept. Now before I finalise the booking, this group have actually also told us they want to book some of our other resources. So I'm going to select the other resource button. It's taken us back to the diary screen. I'll accept those dates. But now I'm going to change and move across to the activity screen. And what we're going to do at this point is make a booking for the low ropes which they've said they'd like to use. Well they're actually going to have two sessions. They're going to have one group on for an hour in the morning 
and we will be providing the instructor so we've got a rate for that and we want to make a further booking and we're going to have another session once again instructor led in the afternoon and so on you can go on adding the various activities now these can be booked at any time up until the point that you're ready to invoice the hire another facility here it's called other charges if we select this button where you can create an array of all sorts of other facilities and services that you might provide and for which there would be a charge we're going to just select two examples the use of power they're going to have that one they've requested and also uh, they're going to have some day visitors in fact they're going to have eight day visitors coming in on one particular day and so we just go on building up the various charges associated with the booking when we're ready to finalize select the finalize button and now everything that we've entered is pulled together on the one screen the booking notes are pulled forward if we want to add to those we can do so at this point if they've sent us a deposit we could record it just to illustrate the principle I will show that they've made us a payment by check at this stage produce an invoice but I don't really need to do that but we'll just show you what the invoice looks like so here you would have your logo your contact details here's the hirer and here are the various facilities that we've been booking for them the wording you see in the center of the screen is wording of your choice these are just examples that we're using and then as we scroll down the invoice we can see the total that they are due to pay what they've paid and the balance due and in what's called the footer area of the document you can record various other standard information such as your bank account details and your terms of payment and so forth the other document we could produce at this point and we might well want to do this is the booking confirmation selected the the booking confirmation button again it's similar to the invoice in the sense that it's picking up all the charges all the descriptions and so forth it brings forward the booking notes that we've entered but in the footer area of the document you can have different wording there we always recommend that you keep it something simple along the lines we're seeing here essentially you're asking the hirer to sign and return this document by the way you may well have sent by email although you can print and post if you wish and we're saying by signing this document you're accepting our terms and conditions of stay and also the document is showing the arrival and departure dates and the various other facilities that have been booked so having entered our booking it's now sitting in the diary we can see the activities there for the the two bookings for the low ropes and if I go back onto our main residential facility screen if I now click on the booking for the first Avalon Scouts we can see that I can go back into it I can edit the booking I could cancel it change resource means that I can move the booking to a different facility so if I wish to move them from say field A to field B or if I selected change date I could change the start and end dates of any aspect of the booking so that essentially is the process there's a great deal more that we could show you but in a short presentation uh, this is probably enough to absorb what we do suggest is that if the concept here interests you the best thing is to have a full working copy of the program on a free 31 day trial now we'll set this up for you and we'll preload your various resources and your higher charges for you and we do that just to get things started so you're not sat there with a blank screen a blank database thinking well where on earth do I start now, if you'd like to send us those facilities those resources those higher charges we'll preload the system for you prepare it put it on an installation CD which you can install on any Windows PC laptop or Windows uh, local area network it's a full working system and you'll be able to enter actual bookings will be available on the telephone and by remote access to help you with any queries that you have and should you decide yes we like this program it's going to do what we want we'd like to adopt it and you've put in some bookings all those are saved and stored so all we then do is on payment of our invoice we issue you with an activation key and the program is then permanently licensed to your center or your organization so I hope that's been a helpful and useful introduction to the Avalon bookings program for you if you'd like any more information do please give us a call thank you for watching this video